What's up, y'all? I got a banger from men only. Let's get straight into it. Hey. Why do you need a home there? Oh. I just... We don't. We don't need a home there. I don't want to have another home over there. But she's adamant on having another home. Fellas, welcome back. Today. Second home. Girl, the first house wasn't enough? Come on now. Why you need two cribs? Keep it a buck. One house is enough. You can't live in two houses at the same time, chat. All right, y'all. I might not post this, but I'm going to be human. Does anyone else... I'm only human after <laughs> all. I'm only... <laughs> God, I'm sorry. Stupid. Or did anyone else? Let me say past terms because I don't do this. I kind of do this now, but I'm working on it. Anywhere you go, do you huh? either want to be like discovered and like made to feel like you're worth something and you're seen or do you want to like meet your husband or wife or future lover like I lived life for my entire life everywhere I went hey, get get put it on t-shirt <laughs> I've lived life for my entire life man wise words and literally everywhere was determined and I was by and I was hopeful to be and this is so embarrassing but I'm just trying to relate here I wanted to be seen by someone whether it was a guy or someone would discover this is me. that Disney princess fantasy I want to be seen I want him to find me when I'm a peasant girl in the village picking apples for my family when he's a prince honey it doesn't happen like that sorry you wanted equality now you need to approach men point blank period me which never happened and I'm 35 Whoa. it's almost the wall <laughs> it's like i wanted to project myself into them and like be seen instead of like seeing myself and being in my own energy i, I was only someone and worth something if i was seen by someone else and i would set myself up for failure because that doesn't happen all the yeah, time well and that's the thing that's why i always say you need to fall in love with yourself where you fall in love with anybody else if you're looking for outside validation from somebody else to make you feel good or sufficient eh, newsflash it's never going to happen you got to feel good internally before somebody can love you. Because the thing is, if you don't love yourself, what's somebody going to come in and love if you don't even love yourself? Silly. Stupid. Time. You don't just, like, meet someone you like all the time. And very rarely are you discovered, which I found out. But it's, like, laughable now that I'm, like, realizing. This was so subconscious, <laughs> I did not realize this, by the way. It's not like I always consciously did this. But it's recently been on Earth in therapy. But Oh, like, that's another thing, bro. Chat, do you agree with this take? I think you should go to therapy for maybe six months to a year, depending on how traumatic the experience was. Six months to a year, and then you should be done with therapy. Uh, therapy now is like a lifestyle. But chat, let me know. Do you agree? Do you agree that like after a certain while you should be done with therapy? A lot of these women are like, yeah, me and my therapist are thick as thieves. Like I go there. I've been with her for five years. You've been in therapy for five years and still haven't fixed your freaking problems? You're not supposed to go to therapy for years on years on years. This isn't like going, you know, going to the mall and hanging out with your friends. This isn't something you should do regularly. You should go to therapy and get done with it. But let me know what you think. Like, just for the first time, and this is very shameful, but I'm like, okay. Loki, are you staring at me? You see him back there? I'm going to go out, be in my own energy, be open, connect with yeah. who I connect with, and, like, have fun with myself. And yeah. that probably will attract people liking my own energy and having fun with myself, which would make sense. But self-fulfilling prophecy, the thing I'm scared of, which is people not seeing me, I'm literally doing by having the most desperado energy. <sighs> I'm just sharing this because I am trying to take a risk and be like 1 million percent truthful. And I came to the conclusion not everything I say has to be inspirational because I'm freaking human. Wait, you were being inspirational? <laughs> Maybe I heard you wrong. Not like anyone asked me to be inspirational, but I, I feel so in pain a lot that I want to help people. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe just like tell the truth about your weird shit and that will help someone not feel alone, Dana. So I'm going to post this no matter what, no matter how many likes, no matter how many comments. I want to know if you do this or if you do some weird quirky thing, please make me feel more seen. <laughs> Here's the thing. She's so quirky. God, <laughs> she's so quirky. <laughs> so interesting she's so unique she's so demure so mindful what is that help me be seen you're 35 bro i remember when i started the channel back in november november 19th of 2023 
I wasn't begging people for to see me. Please see me. See me. And then CC me on all your emails. <laughs> and then C spot run. <laughs> oh my lanta. Seen. I just want to be seen. <laughs> I love about dating in 2024 is that like you just have to be prepared to never hear from somebody ever again you it's should never hear from your optometrist again with them glasses what's up with the grandma glasses chad are these in doesn't it matter like at what point in the dating process you are you just have to be ready to just never hear from them again a man asked me on a date made complete plans ghosted we go all the way up to like when the day was supposed to happen. All the way up. Never to be heard from again. Brutal. Never again. You could be seeing someone for months. I had a friend. She dated a guy for four months. He just evaporated. Never to be heard from again. You just gotta stay on your toes. That's what it's like out here. Here we go again. The streets are rough, honey. She's a runner. She's a track star. And maybe in those four months, he was trying something. He was trying to get to know her, trying to get to get her to a certain point in the relationship. And maybe she just wasn't ready for him. Ladies, have you ever thought it's weird that out of 300 arguments, you've been correct 300 times? <laughs> Got the perfect record when it comes to being right. Isn't that a little crazy? Don't you think it's about time to look in the mirror and say, you know what? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I wasn't ready for him instead of he wasn't ready for you. Just a thought. Home there. Oh. I just we don't. We don't need a home there. I don't want to have another home over there. But she's adamant on having another home. Have you ever won any of these purchase conversations? I'm probably going to kick know. him out of the house if he wins a purchase conversation. <laughs> That's, bro, oh my, wow. False. <laughs> that is so false. Like, you just, no. Kick, you, uh, kick him out of the house that he pays for? This is why I say end the simp -edemic. Like, we, we have these conversations, and I will make a great point, and I will, I could tell you that no this, this desk is brown, and there'll be a but, no, it's it's really green or black. What or I'm purple. trying to figure out is this, I mean, there's just no consequences. You just, you win, and that's it. I mean, the consequences are now you guys have to pay off your debt uh, and, you know, goals for the kids and everything are put off. Gosh, I hope my breath doesn't stink. I'm on, I'm taking Paxlovid right now so I can get over this quicker. And it's making my tongue, like it automatically makes your tongue taste like absolute death. But I don't know if that translates or if it's mental. Like, I don't know if it's a real taste or if it's fake. I can't smell anything of here. So well, that's good because it tastes like a battery has opened. This entitled woman is the... <laughs> Caleb, what the... <laughs> It tastes like a battery is open. Bruh, chat, if your girl does this, just leave, bruv. Guy on Bumble yesterday, who's 43 years old. Before we even started planning a date, he made a couple of sexual innuendos. She looks easy to draw. Shots fired! Specifically, one of them said, well, if you want to have kids, we should start pretty soon, meaning tonight with a winky face. To which I responded, haha, slow down. And then when he asked me on a date, he picked a place that was walking distance from him, but it would take me a 15 minute drive to get to. He told me- Yeah, because he's paying. He ain't, got a, he ain't got the money to pay for the gas. Gas expensive. Me, okay, let's meet at this time. And I was like, wait, are you not going to offer to pick me up? To which he responded, oh, I'm actually in between jobs. I just had to sell my car. So unfortunately, I won't be able to pick you up. My response was, oh, well, then maybe you're not ready to date. Maybe now is not a good time. And he said, oh, actually, no problem. Like, I can get you a taxi if you don't have a car. To which I responded saying, great, that'd be great. And then he had the nerve to tell me, by the way, I'm not that kind of guy who's a giver in relationships. I will only give to my kids and my wife. To which I responded, okay and then he kept on going if you're looking for a sugar daddy i'm not the one for you and i said what makes you think i'm looking for a sugar daddy to which he responded well you don't really seem like one of those typical dubai girls like you were raised in canada so that's a huge reason why i actually swiped on you and then i immediately unmatched without saying anything the next time you're afraid to ask wait aren't those girls going to dubai straight up human toilets <laughs> Get number one and number two'd. 
ask a man for something, even as something little to pick you up for a date, just remember, when was the last time a man was afraid to ask you for sex? He asked me twice, but God forbid I asked him to pick me up. Then I'm a gold digger, I'm one of those typical Dubai girls, which I find so offensive, and I'm just looking for somebody to provide for me. Ah, here we go again. Chad strikes against this woman. F I, don't, I don't know about all that. I feel like there there needs to be a little bit more context in this conversation. I just know that these Dubai girls are getting the ones and twos. <laughs> you want to make a bag, ladies? Go to Dubai. Turn into a human toilet. Uh, those girls are raking in the cash. But you got to throw your morals and ethics straight away. Hate to admit this. Men are right. Women are delusional. Our standards are too high. Let's hear it. Never men tell women that their standards are too high and that you're delusional. Um, when I heard you know why I know she's based is because she looks like a truck driver. Shout out to this girl. <laughs> Haven't even seen enough, but got the headset on. Like this, this woman right here is doing the Lord's work. Delivery drivers, when it comes to like truck drivers, guys that are on the road constantly. Shout out to y'all, man. I know we got some truck drivers that watch the channel, so shout out to you guys. I think that is one of the most underappreciated um, jobs and occupations right now. Heard it back in the day. I used to be like, y'all are just some haters. Y'all are pathetic and y'all be on some hating shit. Like women, don't lower your standards. Girl, do not lower your standards. These men are pathetic. They're just being some haters. Initially, that was my thought. Um, but now I honestly can, I, I, unfortunately I have to agree with the men. Women are delusional and our standards are too high. Now let me, just go with me for a second, right? I used to believe... She's one of them ones. Shout out to this girl. It was on some hating shit. And I remember when Steve Harvey had his show, oh, he God. was telling women, your standards are too high. Um, you're going to you know, end up alone because no man is going to want to meet those standards, especially when they can get it from a woman with no standards. Like the lower hanging fruit is easier to obtain. So they're not going to jump through all these hoops to be with you and meet your standards. Thanks. And so I'm like, nah, that's just some guys, you know, nah, that's some hating shit. But here's the thing. Most women are delusional and our standards are too high. Now, I'm not saying to lower your standards. I will never tell you to do that. I want women to understand Losing what me. this really is, okay? So we all know for the most part that women were lied to about what and who men really were, right? We were lied to about that. We thought they were gonna be these protectors and these providers and they were gonna protect us from harm and you know, harm being other men because I mean, I mean what, a charging wildebeest is gonna come after us and a man is gonna like use his machete and like protect, like typically your number one predator as a woman is going to be a man. So you're gonna protect us from other men and you're gonna be a good father and you're gonna be faithful and you're gonna be all these things. And men were never that. They were propped up by the patriarchy to pretend that they were those things. And I love it. when men tell us that we're delusional and our standards are too high, the secret is it's not that they don't want to meet those standards. It's that they can't. The average man is completely incapable of meeting those standards. It's almost like expecting a, a, a one-year-old to know how to do calculus in pre-algebra or whatever, right? They, they don't have the mental faculties to do it. And most men, even if they tried to reach those standards, they will fail miserably. Now, in the famous I, I, words... I, I, Completely disagree. I think every man can provide and protect. Um, the thing is, is y'all standards are so high, you want a man that makes $300,000 a year. That's what you see as a provider. I know people that live on $65,000 a year household income and got a baby. Lower your standards and a man can provide and protect. But the thing is, y'all have these crazy standards. So you don't need a mansion to be provided for. You need an apartment. You need four walls and food in your stomach. That's the problem. So Princella um the patriarchy aka the wheelchair ramp that they were that they gave men um basically gave them a head start and women not only did we catch up to men we surpassed them and right now in 2024 we're surpassing them like a motherfucker and they're crashing out because back then all they needed to have was a job to get a wife and to get kids and th that was it now women are requiring men to be a good person be faithful be loyal be all these things a great father all that stuff right 
And most of them can't. It's not that they don't want to. They fucking can't. They don't have the mental faculties to do it. That is why our standards are too high. Because we're, we're, we're expecting this macho superior being to be that when really they're the ones that are inferior. And I'm saying the vast majority of them. There's a small sprinkling of guys who are self-starters. They're motivated by just themselves and they want to survive. And they don't need to do... They're not out Dude, the thing is we live in modern times. You don't need to be six foot five and yoked like a good morning breakfast to protect somebody. <laughs> A lot of states you can have a gun or a weapon on you. Like, stop the cap. Stop it. Demonizing men. Like, she had me She had me in the first half. I'm going to be honest. She's losing me now, though. Here working hard just to get a woman in, 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 in some kids. They're working hard for themselves. Like, the very thing that can show you that these men don't have any, like, self-motivation. Look at how many men have been dropping out of the workforce because they don't feel like there is any light at the end of the tunnel. If these women aren't choosing them because you have to be a good person, you have to be loyal, you have to not cheat on me, you you can't cuss, cuss me out and dim my light, you can't do all these things. The thing is, but y'all are giving Chad and Tyrone babies like crazy. Fired. You're talking about a good person. You ladies don't like good people. You like toxicity. You, you have to be a good person. They're like, well, well, fuck it. I'm not gonna get a wife. These women are not choosing me because I only make forty or fifty thousand dollars a year. What's the point? I might as well live in my mama's basement, right? Or have five roommates. I love how they go immediately to the mom's basement. <laughs> I grew up in Texas. We don't even got basements. You know, they're not even striving for themselves. Like you're supposed to adult, whether you are a man or a woman, for yourself. So that you can have heat in the wintertime. So that you can have air in the summertime. So you can have a fucking roof over your head. So you can have a car to drive. So you can be able to afford to put gas in that said car. Like you're supposed to want to do that for yourself. But they are like, if no, if there's not going to be a woman and kids or anybody that I can control and lord over, then what's the point? That right there. Is you see, y'all think we want to control. Chat, let me know. Do you want to control and lord over someone? Not me. I don't want to have to control Cass or lord over her. We both know the expectations that we need to bring to the table, and uh, I do my part, she does hers. Point blank, period. Sur super simple. It will tell you right, th right there, all by itself, that they can't reach those standards. So yes, we're either going to settle for a man, or we're going to get lucky and find a guy who got his shit together, which those... That number is very, very low for, for the vast majority of women. Or you're going to be by yourself. Those are the only options we have. I will never tell women to lower their standards. The, the, the higher you raise your standards, the less men will be able to apply, if you will. Right? Um, if you have on your job description, you must have a doctorate's degree or a PhD even. And these men don't even have a high school diploma. Most men don't have a high school diploma. I, I, I don't know what the actual number is on a high school diploma. Of, co of course I, you don't. Of course you don't. Talking out the side of your neck. Saying most men don't even, they're not even halfway to the point of reaching those standards. So don't lower your standards. If you do, you're going to end up with a guy who's going to hate on you, right? The, th these men are lying about the fact that they don't want to meet those standards. They're, they, they really can't meet them. They, they, they can't. Much like the way that men lie about um not liking independent women right so the part of them not liking independent women is true they don't mean these particular men they don't like independent women but they're lying about why they're trying to say if you're independent you're masculine and you know as a masculine alpha male we well, if you're independent let's break it down if you're independent you're independent of what a man which means you're not dependent on a man. So yes, being independent is a masculine trait, in my opinion. Chat, do you agree? Want a feminine woman, and you're masculine. That's not the real reason. The real reason is I'm pathetic. I'm a loser. And every time you come home to tell me something that you've accomplished today, you're putting a mirror up to me and showing me how insignificant I am, how much you don't need me, and how much of a loser I am. That's really what it is. But they're never going to admit that because they have too much ego. They lie about everything. They project everything. All of their fears and insecurities that they have on the inside, they project it off onto women. Are you sure that's not what you're doing right now?
they will literally do something and then turn around and say you're doing it much like when a man comes out of nowhere and swerving down you're cheating on him and you find out it's because he's cheating on you that's what they do that's just how they, they project like a mother i don't even think she realizes what she's saying right now like everything she's saying it's just making her seem like she's projecting it now so when they call us delusional we are delusional and our delusion comes from being lied to now that we know we've been lied to about who and what men are it's, it's just it's the victim mindset we've been lied to it's not our fault we're not delusional because of our own actions or our own beliefs it's because we've been lied to well the thing is you believed the lie dude stupid you believed it take accountability for believing a lie it's up to us to move accordingly if you still want to sit around and have these fairy tale views and these high standards or whatever I, i'm not telling you to lower your standards i'm not saying that but just know doing that it's going to get you men. You're going to get got, basically. You're going to just keep attracting men that are going to keep using you. I love if, it when a woman tells her bop lore. If you understand what men are, you should know how to be by yourself um, or get lucky and find somebody that matches your fly, as they call it. So we are delusional until we decide not to be. And those are just my thoughts on that. This is Yoink's Scoob, the mental gymnastics that she had to go through just to get that out. Goodness gracious. Loki, does somebody want a beef jerky stick? You want some queef jerky? I mean beef jerky? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. I think women's standards are just way too high. Go to your place. Go to your place with that. You're not supposed to eat that right there. Go to your place. He already ate it! My lord. Um... But women's standards are way too high, bro. They're absolutely way too high. That's why a lot of them are single. And then that's why they let Chad and Tyrone get them pregnant, and then they end up raising these fatherless kids. And fatherless homes usually have the highest rates of degeneracy. You know, 60 to 70% plus of kids that are raised in fatherless homes are drug addicts. They're violent. They're in juvenile detention centers. They're in prison. You know, they're incarcerated. So, like, I'm just saying, ladies... If you expect us as men to take accountability and say that we're not as good as we should be, then you should be able to take accountability and say, you know what, our standards are too high. Like I said, I know people that are living on a, like a $65,000, $70,000 household income for two people with a kid living in a bigger city. It can happen. It can work. But the thing is, ladies, you got, you got champagne taste on a beer budget. You got champagne taste on a beer budget. You don't qualify for a guy that can give you champagne every day or caviar for breakfast. Or avocado toast, because hell, avocado, avocado to avocado, avocado toast like eleven dollars. <laughs> That's not where you're at. That's not your value. You attract what you are. So if you're attracting men that are of a certain value and caliber, that's what you are. Life is a mirror, not a window. This is why I say the results that you're getting are from the uh, the product that you're offering. Women are marketers and men are salesmen. Ladies, if you're attracting guys that aren't of a super high caliber, it's probably because you're not a high caliber woman. So just take what you can get. Back in the day, our grandparents or our grandfathers didn't have to work near as hard for a woman that was a virgin, didn't have a high body count, and had like super high pair bonding and was loyal and was going to give him multiple kids and treat him like a king. Nowadays, you get a girl that's got mileage on her. She's not going to be loyal to you. She's going to try to Frankenstein you. She's going to want you to make a ton of money. She's not going to submit to you. So it's like, hopefulation is real. It's absolutely real. Like, we got to pay a 20x the price for a woman that's four times as worse. It's like, what? It's, a, it's just a bad deal for most men right now, which is why I think a lot of guys are just choosing to be alone. And women, they need people. That's why women mainly work in the social services. Women are more interested in people, and men are more interested in things. That's why 80% of STEM is dominated by men. So ladies sitting there saying, I don't need a man. We don't need a man. Yes, you do. You want a man and you want kids. Deep down to your factory settings, <laughs> you want a man and you want to have kids and you want to have a family. That's the pinnacle for you. For us as men, we can go out and just create a bunch of things and be happy with that. Like, I, me and Cass want to have kids. But the thing is, if I keep doing this YouTube thing, I'm going to be just as happy. I'm impacting a lot of lives. We have, we have built a community. Nick's Nation is in full effect right now. Like, shout out to all you guys. But, like, I get a lot of fulfillment from this community whereas a lot of a lot of women probably wouldn't get a lot out of a youtube community that's just my two cents though but i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode don't forget to cop the ebook the four pillars of personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men loki did you have a good time today 
bro, he's looking at me like, bro, you better feed me. It's lunchtime, so he's ready to eat. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace!